Friends here now. Happy Wednesday. Hey, hi. Hey. Hey, what's Howdy. up? Hello. How's, how's it going? It, it goes. Yeah. All right. Sure does. So the beat goes on. It's time for our trending topics of the day. We're talking about an epic move by a rat, a museum dedicated to something kind of gross and taking a vacation or a fake-cation, which is apparently a thing. <sighs> First up, a kangaroo rat was seen fighting off a rattlesnake with a mid-air kick yes. in this dramatic video. It's just in a second here. A slow motion oh, video oh. taken by a team of researchers Get shows... <laughs> oh my god! The rat <laughs> kicking away the sidewinder rattlesnake. Now that's as it jumped up into the air and fended off the attack. This was filmed outside of Yuma, Arizona. The video was released on March 27th along with a study about the kangaroo rat's ability to escape rattlesnake strikes. Footage came from Ninja Rat, a team of researchers from San Diego State <laughs> University. Get off me! University of California and, you know, and uh, Riverside University. Uh, so, this there looks you go. Like, uh, Can't believe that actually happened. I mean, as soon as I saw, you know, Rat versus Snake, I said, okay, well. So I, yeah, you, uh, something that you watch yeah. like as part of a Planet Earth documentary or all right? yeah. the video quality. You used to see, I used better. to watch, uh, that's crazy how they eat whole rats and stuff. I always mm -hmm. thought that Man. was fascinating. But yeah. I guess not that one. He so. dodged a bullet with that one. That was sweet. Yeah. yeah. Way to go, little rat. That doesn't bite. <laughs> yeah. Well, now for an abrupt change of subject. There's a new museum, yeah. a pop-up yeah. museum in Japan dedicated to poop. <laughs> Probably not what you're thinking, though. It's pop all up. colorful, cute, and pop design. It's called the Unko Museum. Unko is Japanese for poop, if you didn't figure that out. Uh, it's around Tokyo. So far, about 10,000 people have visited just in the first week. The museum's going to be open through uh, early August if you want to go over there and check it out. Yeah, go oh. ahead. Which, yeah, let us know <laughs> how it was. Take pictures with that. This one, I love this, this That's picture. That's ridiculous. Right there. That's, uh, Take a picture with some fake poop over the toilet. Unnecessary. It's unnecessary, oh, but a lot of these pop-ups are kind of fun. I know they've had a couple in Chicago. I haven't had the chance to go to one of these yet. A pop-up. No, I haven't either. But they, I heard they're kind of pricey to get in. I wonder how much oh. the tickets are for that. I know one in Chicago was like 60 bucks to get in. I'm like, oh, God. That's dumb. Yeah, to take pictures with like glitter. I'm like, okay, so do that at home. It'll be free. Yeah. Well, you've heard of staycations, but what about a fake-cation? Yep. A business called Fake a Vacation allows people to do just that. The Nebraska-based company will superimpose pictures of you on backdrops of Hawaii, maybe. Uh, the Grand Canyon, there's a picture there, and other popular places like the beach. There it is. Uh, officials with Vacation say their clients stage their jaunts partly because they want to have travel pictures on Facebook and Instagram. Uh-huh. Others do it because they had to cancel their actual vacations at the last minute. Now, although this may seem silly, it is somewhat of a trend. A study by a travel website called Jet Cost surveyed more than 4,000 people, and about 10% of them admitted to putting fake pictures on social media. What? Yeah. Why? If this is ridiculous. I don't. I don't get this. I mean, Wait. if you really, if you wanted to impress people, you cared that much about Instagram. Instead of paying to have fake travel <laughs> pictures posting, if you can't travel, that's what. Go ahead, post sorry. post pictures of you doing all kinds of fun stuff in your own hometown, yeah. Yeah. showing that you're having a better time than any of these people are yeah. in these pictures. I that's just, how you win. And that's how you win. <laughs> it's really, that's win. how you, you I, win the social media well, game. Now I'm trying to think about if I've I, seen anyone that I, I know. How much it costs? Yeah. How much? Well, what I mean, is the price? Because you <sighs> might as well just pay that money and go do it's, something fun. It, anyway, yeah. I don't so get they, it. Whatever. I, but I don't think I've seen one of these happen yet. I don't know how good the editing is, though, so I'll have to keep an eye out on Friends Vacation. I love picture. the, like, little white cutout yeah. of the people. I, I say it at least once a week. 2019 is stupid. Yep. I don't think it's all stupid, but our instant connection Mostly poll stupid. isn't stupid. Today we want to know... Yes. Just 2019. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Is 2019 <laughs> stupid? Yes. Yeah, no, go to our just Facebook kidding. page. The actual question today, you can comment on that one though. The actual question though is do you have any vacations planned in the near future? If you do, real ones. Yes, real ones where you're actually going and traveling for those. If you are going on a vacation, comment with where you're going and who's going with you. We'd love to know. We're going to check that at the end of the hour. <laughs> but still to come on the morning show, a school in Champaign County is trying to keep drivers safe. We'll tell you what St. Thomas More is doing for the first time to inspire its students and how many tickets Illinois State Police say they've written for distracted driving so far this year. Plus, we're heading into the Mad Laboratory with UI yeah. Physics Professor Paul Quiat. He's going to teach us all about magnetism coming up in our Wise Guys Wednesday. Cereal. That's Cereal. a box of fruit. Yeah. <laughs>